Welcome back to the channel my lovely friends, welcome back to Just Shake or Steer, my name is Georgi and today it's time to kick off with some Halloween cocktails. But first of all, as you know we start new series, Instagram cocktails they call it, and I see you enjoying them. Very good feedback and I'm really happy with that because we will continue to do this. And when I'm saying we, you see I'm alone, but it's not for a long time, it's just we have some shifting in the work at the moment so we can have the same days off with Nif and I'm gonna keep holding the front until we get back together and film together. It won't be for long, maybe a few weeks just because we have new stuff in training so one of us it always has to be there. That's how it's work in the hospitality industry. However we're gonna kick with some Halloween cocktails and why everybody go crazy about uh, pumpkin spice and all this kind of stuff. This won't happen here on the channel. I'll give you different suggestions, easy to make, fantastic cocktails, somehow related to the Halloween, but also equally good to do any time of the year, to be honest. So my lovely friends, if you're ready for shakes, tears and some sips, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, don't forget to like if you really like what you see. But today we're gonna kick off with the first cocktail and this is the Witches Daikiri. Okay, it's not a summer anymore, but that doesn't mean we have to stop enjoying Daikiri or we have to stop enjoying Rome or in general life. No matter it's Halloween coming, you can still enjoy some cool Daikiris. And we're gonna do with the Witch's Daikiri today, which it's include a very good ingredient, which I'm pretty sure not many of you probably heard of or maybe didn't try yet. And this is my friends, the Italian Strega Liqueur, okay? A wonderful botanical liqueur with a touch of anisette and licorice is just beautiful for this time of the year and of course for Halloween. Now saying that, remember this, if you can find Strega, you can easily use yellow chartreuse if it's still available with all these shortages. Uh, yes, but if you find Strega, I strongly recommend to find Strega. The cocktail is based on a gold rum and it's basically perfect for Havana Club three years old, but I'm gonna be using the Haitian rum today, Clarin Communo, sorry, Clarin Communo, which is basically blend of the four best Haitian rums. I find it really good for the Kiris because have this amazing blend of flavor and character. However, again, use Havana three years old or any gold rum you have at home. So, I think this is it pretty much. Now let's crack on and make the Witch's Daikiri. So you're gonna need a shaker of course and before I start I'm just gonna grab my Orjet or Orja or I still don't know how to I mean people say it's Orja but I call it Orjet because where I'm coming from with our accent. However it's an almond syrup okay so that's what you need. Right we're gonna crack on with our rum and it's very easy. It's just one ounce or a 30 ml of the rum. Go in your shaker. Perfect. Then the next ingredient is our Strega liqueur and recommended serve 20 ml. But we're gonna go with uh, 30 ml, one ounce. Yeah, we're gonna drop a little bit more and because it's Halloween, we're gonna make the cocktail just a slightly boozy, okay? It's one of those daiquiris which it's easy to drink, very light, very refreshing. But we're just gonna pinch a little bit, just because we can, okay? Next ingredient, freshly squeezed orange juice. Just 15 ml or a half an ounce. And of course, it can be daiquiri without a lime juice. So we have 15 ml or a half ounce of the lime juice. And to keep everything nice and easy and well balanced, we're gonna go with 15 ml or a half ounce of the Orja, Orjet or almond syrup. 
I'm just gonna start calling it almond syrup because I don't know. But yeah, you get the idea what we're doing. And the next ingredient, of course, is gonna be your ice. So let's grab my ice here. Now we're gonna fill up the shaker. Not too much ice, of course, but we need to dilute the cocktail a little bit and, of course, chill the cocktail because, as you know, apart from frozen daiquiris, daiquiri is served straight up, no ice at all, okay? We'll give it a good shake for around 10 to 15 seconds and we'll serve. Now, most of the daiquiris it's served in a coupe glass, but I have one which it's kind of a, I call it like a hybrid between coupe and Nick and Nora and a martini. I don't know, it's a, it's a wonderful glass. And I think, in my personal opinion, it's perfect for this type of cocktail. It's elegant, it's a small, it's easy to handle. Just a nice glass, simple as that. Double strain because we don't want any ice shreds or if you freshly squeeze your lemon or lime, you probably don't want any of the pulp inside. You just want nice and refreshing, wonderful, clear witches daiquiri, okay? There we go. Move everything here on the side. And for the garnish, we'll be going with the... Oh, if I can open it, yeah. We'll be going with a delicious, Maraschino cherry. And go wild here, okay? I, I, I love the cherries. So, uh, in general, if you go in a bar, you're probably gonna get one because they are not cheap. But if you have them at home, just go crazy and put three of them on the top. Simple as that. Right, let's move everything here. And this, my lovely friends, is the wonderful witch's daiquiri. So, let's give it a little sip. Ooh. Boy, I love Strega. It gives so much flavor to the cocktail. Anise, licorice, botanical. It's zingy, it's just beautiful. And if you ever, ever, ever can find the Clarin Communal Rome, my gosh, you gotta get a bottle. It's a combination of four different roms, perfectly blend. In my humble personal opinion, it's one of the best roms to make daiquiri, any type of daiquiri. But of course, as I mentioned before, if you can just use Havana Club 3, it's absolutely fine. But if you can find the Clarin Communal, literally make your mission to find the bottle, okay? But this is the first one of a few more cocktails to come for Halloween. We will try to find a cocktail related to Halloween for Instagram Cocktails Decoded for the next week because we say it's gonna be bi-weekly and we're gonna stick to this schedule. So I'm gonna have this day kidding. I'll sit on my computer and try to research but in the meantime, if you find something and you think it's worth including on the channel for the Instagram Cocktails Decoded as a Halloween suggestion, make sure you comment on this video, yeah? Until next time, as always, don't forget our website, it's live, justshakeorsteer.com. Make sure you visit the website and stay tuned because we have some updates coming. And also don't forget the merch. Season coming like a holiday season. Maybe treat yourself or treat somebody with a nice warm hoodie. But for now, from me and Nif, even if she's not here, have a wonderful week and I'll see you soon with another suggestion for your holiday spooky evening. Bye-bye.